Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that is your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I think this is most likely the most epic with a capital E underlined epic empties video I have ever filmed. I have so much to share with you. So much empty skincare. So let's jump right into the video. Give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. Let's talk about the Naturium Niacinamide Cleansing 3% Gel. Pretty sure I've never spoken about this product. So the first time you're hearing about it is once it's empty. So you know, I've got a really nice thorough review for you here. I think really the reason why I um, never talked about this product is because it didn't really impress me. Now, I wanna be clear, there's nothing bad about this product. Um, there's actually a lot going for it. It is a fragrance-free cleanser. It's low pH, it comes in at 5.5. And I actually found that it did not strip my skin. Um, but for me, it just didn't really like wow or impress me and look it is a cleanser so my expectations aren't incredibly high <laughs> for like the experience of the cleanser but I don't know it just didn't really make a big impression on me this is the polish choice hydrating gel to cream cleanser and I actually really did enjoy this cleanser um, quite a bit it's in texture it's a little bit thicker um, than the Naturium is it's got like a nice luxurious kind of foam to it while still being low pH and fragrance free and it feels really effective like it just really feels like it gets in there and cleans the skin but doesn't strip it. I'm a pretty big fan of this cleanser but there was an issue with this towards the end of the bottle that makes me a little bit less likely to want to get this again and that is um, the packaging itself. It has this flip top and then you would squeeze the bottle which was not a problem until I started getting towards the very end of the bottle where it made a lot more sense for me to keep this stored upside down so the rest of the product moved towards you know the top of here so I could get it out very easily through the flip top. Well, this guy started to leak um, as it was turned and stored upside down. Um, and you're gonna see there's quite a bit of the cleanser that is all built up in the cap because it slowly started leaking out in my medicine cabinet. <laughs> Next up is the Stradia Velvet Cleansing Milk. And you can see how old my bottle is, embarrassingly so, because it's got the old packaging and they changed their packaging. <laughs> a while ago <laughs> in the world of cleansing milks this is probably my second favorite um right behind the Cioris cleansing milk that i talk about a lot i think this is probably the runner up to that i really do enjoy this it's a very minimal ingredients list and it really just focuses on like really moisturizing the skin while gently cleansing it it's not my favorite thing to reach for like on days where i'm wearing makeup or big heavy sunscreen but i found a lot of use for this especially in the winter time um, I reach for milks a lot then because my skin just needs to be babied. <laughs> it needs to, lots and lots of moisture and it needs to, you know, be treated as gently as possible. So when my, my skin is feeling a little bit more dry, maybe a little bit inflamed and maybe a little bit irritated, something like this feels so, so good on my skin. Um, and, and in fact, I'll sometimes just put a layer of this on my face and just let it sit for like a minute or two, let that moisture infuse into my skin and then wash it off like a mini wash off mask. And it just, it calms the skin down with moisture. Next up is the Make Pre-Cleanse Fluid. And this is a cleansing oil. And I super duper enjoyed this because this is one of those rare um, cleansing oils that has that really light, super fluidy texture to it that I find not like super rare, but I just don't come across that texture a lot, but I so enjoy it. Um, it really just feels like it breaks down makeup really nicely and spreads across your skin so easily without just like that thicker, like medium feel that most cleansing oils have. This definitely works really nicely, really effortlessly, and um, I've pretty much enjoyed everything I've tried from this brand. Next is the Inky List Fulvic Acid Brightening Cleanser. And this kind of reminds me of the Naturi cleanser where it's like it's it's solid it, it gets the job done there's nothing wrong with it but it just didn't really super duper wow me um, this is a really nice light gel texture to it and I think it's slightly more suited towards oily skin types and the only reason I say that is sometimes I felt a whisper of dryness on my skin when I used it and I think that's why I was a little bit more like 
meh about this. I put it shower side. I used it occasionally. But you know the thing about inky lists is they're so affordable. That's something that I actually really appreciate about what their brand does that I do still think this is a nice product for the price point. Purito from Green Cleansing Oil. What can I say? You've seen me empty this one before and you'll see me empty it again in the future. I think that this is very safely one of my like staple uh, cleansing products that I just go back to time and time again because the price is right, you know, the formulation is right, the effects and benefits are just right. This is really effective. This is more of that traditional like medium weight oil cleanser texture, but I will say that this does wash off very cleanly. I don't feel like it leaves a residue on the skin, which I really dislike in like first cleansing products. This it just, it hits all, all the boxes really, really nicely for me. So um, yeah, you'll see me, you'll see me use this one again. I love it. The Make Preem Safe Me Relief Essence Toner. Love, you know this, I love this. This is probably my number one toner right now. Um, this is a really simple formula, sensitive skin friendly. It's super duper hydrating, it's layerable, and it comes in a jumbo size. These are all things I love because <laughs> I run through toner very fast as you're about to see all these empties love this I have two backups um, I'm trying to work on some of my other stuff to empty it right now but like this is my number one toner without reservation my number one toner so next up is the Vita B5 toner from TM you've heard me talk about this for years and years I also really really love this product this has a unique texture because it's really deeply hydrating you know that's what I require in my toner um, it's really hydrating it's layerable but it's got such a interesting kind of feel because it's got a little slipperiness to it a little thickness to it and when you get it onto your skin it hydrates it feels breathable and thin but it plumps your skin up like it feels so bouncy and so juicy like wow I love how this just makes my skin feel and that effect has really like endeared this product to me because it's definitely a nicely hydrating toner but that little extra bounce is a little something extra um, and this is definitely a hero product from TM. Next up is the April Skin Artemisia Rice Essence Toner and I think this is my second empty of this. I really enjoy this toner. I discovered it last year and um, it's quickly like risen up in the ranks as something um, like in the top circle definitely of toners. This is very very, very watery but again really hydrating it's not as much as the TM but it does have a little bit of that plump factor to it as well now I always say it about this toner like the Artemisia part of this doesn't really wow me I just think this is a great example of a toner hydrating your skin and replenishing it deeply and that's all I want my toner to do um, I have noticed that uh, it's really only available on the April skin website or April skin official on Amazon Amazon. I just want to let you guys know I haven't noticed this one on Yes Style or like Stylevana um, but if you're ever curious about anything I'm talking about I do put all the links in the description box and all the places I recommend that you shop from um, in the description box so if you're trying to hunt something down definitely look there. Next is the Purito Derma HA3 liquid and this was actually a newer release from Purito just a few months ago in the middle of 2021. This is that type of toner that you could layer onto your skin a million times without it building up in thickness or weight it's just so watery it's got no body or viscosity to it at all it's just so so watery you know what I mean and um, the Purito Centella unscented toner the other one from Purito that I really like you know it's got a little bit of body almost a slight gel kind of a feel to it it's it's still watery but it's got more thickness to it if that's like not your jam go for this one it's a really nice solid you know, strictly hydrating toner. So if that's what you're looking for, this is a good option. This is the beauty of Joseon Ginseng Essence Water. And what makes this product unique among all the toners that we've just talked about is this for me feels like a two in one. And while it's called Essence um, in the name, I'm kind of referring to this as like a two in one toner and essence. Because in my mind, a toner hydrates your skin, right? And an essence brings benefits to your skin almost like a serum does, but in like a lighter texture. Essence is 
generally like brighten up your complexion. This is kind of the perfect blending of both of those because the texture is really watery, light, and quickly absorbed with good hydration for the skin. There's so much ginseng in here. It actually brings that beautiful glow to your skin though too. Ginseng really helps with your um, blood flow with the circulation and that really tends to make your complexion look really healthy and like lit from within. And that's what this does. This hydrates your skin, but it also makes your complexion look incredibly healthy, bringing all that ginseng and antioxidant benefit to your skin. This is the Nasific Jeju Artemisia Essence. And um, if you have been like a long time watcher of my channel, you may remember this from a video a long time ago. <laughs> the reason it took me so long is because I don't like it. Like I just plain don't like this product at all all. Um, you know, it actually reminds me a lot of the Beauty of Chosan um, Essence Water, and it also reminds me of the April Skin Artemisia Toner that we just talked about. The Beauty of Chosan, remember it had that like light watery texture? This definitely has that type of texture. Um, and the April Skin, you know, the Artemisia wasn't a real strong player in that product, and that's how I feel about this. The Artemisia, it's in the name, but it doesn't really play a starring role on my skin. Like, I just don't feel the mugwort benefits when I use this product. Now the saving grace for April skin is that it's so deeply hydrating and replenishing to my skin. I don't really care about the mugwort in that product, but the nasific essence is not really that hydrating. So it's not hydrating and it doesn't bring mugwort benefits. Do you see why I don't like this? <laughs> My next empty is the Dr. Serical Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence. And I love this. I would very comfortably call this a holy grail product and that's it, right? Let's move on to the next product. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, I love it. You know I love this. Um, I'm a really, really big fan of this essence. It is the best combination of hydration and moisture in one product. Oh, and we've got lots of tea in here, lots of antioxidant benefits, and I always feel like when I use this, my complexion feels really glowy and just looks really healthy and balanced and hydrated and moisturized, and it just feels so good on the skin, but it's not so heavy and so like almost greasy feeling that it overwhelms your skin like it's just the most balanced perfect formulation ever i absolutely love this product now um i do often compare this to laneige cream skin refiner and you know what i usually say i say cream skin refiner is a little bit more for drier skin types because it's more rich and um the dr serico feels like it can it can play a little bit better in like the combination um, sort of realm because it is just a very 50 50 kind of balance between hydration and moisture the stradia rewind serum and i've gone through a few bottles of this i would honestly say this is one of my favorite niacinamide serums it uses five percent of niacinamide which is my favorite percentage because it stimulates collagen it strengthens your skin's moisture barrier it brightens your skin but it's just that right percentage that like irritation is less likely to occur this brings so many benefits to the skin the the way that Stradia has done it, they've paired it with 2% of an ingredient called DMAE. And this is an ingredient that can help increase the hydration of your skin, but it can also help plump your skin and help with, I believe, with elasticity of your skin. And that's what's really special about this niacinamide serum that makes it a little bit different than the other ones that I also enjoy. The benefits here when you use this, your skin is going to feel really firm. Not just like plump and juicy and bouncy, but like it's going to feel and look a lot firmer. And it actually happens very quickly. Like within just like a few weeks of using this, you're going to notice a difference in your skin. Sticking with Stradia, I also emptied the Fortify Facial Oil Blend, which um, right underneath Liquid Gold is probably my second favorite Stradia product and the one that I probably use the most. This is like perfectly balanced blend of oils um, and it really focuses on the fatty acid profile of the oils that it's using, really getting a nice balance between omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty fatty acid with a particular focus I feel like on strengthening the skin um, because this oil 
Um, it is a little bit richer. It's a little bit more of like a medium weight oil. Um, this may not be the best if you have oily skin um, because it is a little heftier and a little richer and nourishing on the skin. But this oil, whenever I use it, especially if I'm having some irritation on my skin, it has almost a soothing effect to it. It has a skin strengthening over time uh, to it that I feel with this. It just kind of has a focus on repair. This is the Solved 100% Jojoba Oil. This is definitely something that has a little bit more of a thicker, richer feel to it, um, a little heftier weight on the skin. And I actually find this to be a little bit too thick for my face skin. It was actually sent to me by the brand um, a while ago, actually. Um, so that's how I got it. Jojoba Oil, I think a little bit more suited to classically dry skin. I was surprised at the price of this product. Um, this is actually retailing around the $30 mark for a 100% jojoba oil. Um, I think that's a little bit high. I don't mind paying a little bit more for oils, especially like the Stradia blend it is a little bit of a higher price point. Um, it's around 20, I think $27. Um, but that product, because of all the different um, blend of oils in that, that makes sense to me. But for a 100% jojoba oil, it's a bit of a splurge. Next up is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. No stranger to my channel. You know I love this and I've emptied a few tubes of this in the past. And um, you know, this is one of those products where it's like, oh yeah, I like that. I've used that in the past and it's really good, right? I really enjoy it. Um, but maybe it like falls out of your routine or you haven't used it for a while. Um, and so this has actually been empty for I think a month or two now, and I'm actually missing this. There's just something, for some reason, I'm almost yearning for this to come back into my skincare routine. And I don't exactly know why, but like, it's just that good. It's one of those products I don't always think about immediately, but like, I'm actually missing this so much right now. So maybe you're gonna see me get this again soon. So let's talk about the La Roche-Posay Sika Plast Balm. This is the Sika cream that keeps on giving and giving and giving. This tube lasted me for so long. It lasted me almost a year. I can't believe it because I use this all the time. I love this. And this has probably become my favorite Sika cream product. And you know, I've got a lot of favorites over the years, but this is the one I've been using a lot. This calms irritation down so, so good. This is a multi-purpose cream. So you can use this all over your face as a moisturizer. You can use it in certain areas to calm down pimples or areas of irritation. You can use this on dry chapped lips. You can use this on razor burn. Um, you can use this on bug bites. You can use this as a full face sleeping pack if you wanted to. And I've used it pretty much all of those ways and it's performed beautifully. It uses maticasticide and panthenol and it just really gets in there and it gets in there and soothes your skin. And it feels like that type of cream. You know, there's some products that like just gently caress and soothe your skin and just say like, calm down irritation. And then there's other products that get in there and, and tell that irritation to get out of town. That's what this is. It's an aggressive soothing cream and it just, it works so, so good. This is the Misha Near Skin Made Cannel Cream. And this is a Sika cream that was definitely one of my favorites that I recommended a lot. This was recently discontinued. And so I had like the last bottle on earth. No, it's not true, but I, I had this sitting in my stash for a while and I was just like, I didn't want to open it because this is going to be the last, you know what I mean? But I did open it. I did use it up. I did enjoy it. I mourn its loss, but there's other great products on the market that can take its place. And I actually did do an updated Sika cream video. I'm going to link it right here uh, now that I'm thinking about it, because you may be in the same position as I am. You're mourning the loss of a beautifully you know, beautiful cream that was unfortunately discontinued. Check out the updated uh, recommendations right up here. So you can't tell by this bottle, but this is Stradia Liquid Gold. The label completely like rubbed off on this one um, and it, it got kind of messy towards the end. Um, so uh, what do I have to say about Stradia Liquid Gold? You've heard it all before. I don't want to spend that much time on it. It's a staple product. I use it in all of my skincare routines. I've been using it since 2018 without a gap in between and I love it. So I do want to talk about this bottle though, um, because yeah, it just, the whole silk screen um, just became a big old mess and I don't know why. And I know some of you guys said it happened to you as well. Um, the only thing I can really say about that is I think maybe it was just a bad batch because the bottle that I've had open now for a, uh, about a month, it hasn't been doing that. I will keep you updated. You'll know, you'll see it if it does. Um, but I'm hoping it was just a, like a bad run of printing. Um, but like even holding it now, I'm getting some white stuff on my fingers, which is pretty annoying, but 
I just threw it on the floor. So I have CeraVe Moisturizing Cream and I have the generic Target version from Up and Up, their moisturizing cream. And I actually wanna talk about these two empties together. So CeraVe, you know I love this. I've been using it a lot this winter um, because it's got just a little bit of extra occlusivity that my skin really appreciates in the winter time. One of my favorite ceramide based moisturizers. Um, but do you remember last summer when like CeraVe was like completely off the shelves like there's just like holes where CeraVe used to be and so that's when I decided to pick up the generic um, CeraVe moisturizing cream um, so that like really saved me because this was available when this was not um, but I wanted to talk about this again because I think this performs really nicely it's slightly lighter I feel like than the original CeraVe but like it still feels really good and protective I noticed CeraVe prices have gone up like by two dollars like hello inflation right like it's real it's happening and I I've never thought that CeraVe was the most affordable drugstore brand to begin with so their prices are creeping up and I'm like ooh. Um, so I just wanted to bring up the fact that the generic version I know not everybody has Target but like the generic version is nice and it might save you a couple of dollars I emptied another tube of the Illyune Ceramide Aido Concentrate Cream you know my love for this has been going strong since 2019 I love this moisturizer so much and I know so many of you do too so I probably don't have to say too much about it I'm planning out my like reorder of all the stuff like I have to have in my life this is gonna be on the order and I know that there was a tiny tweak another one a tiny tweak to the formula so I'm excited to try the new one um, in a little bit and see if I can notice any differences sometimes formulas change and like you think it's gonna be a big like a big change and it ends up like hardly affecting you at all I'm hoping that's the case. Another empty of the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Balm. Now this is my favorite body cream. Like my body skin is so dry, especially in winter. This seems to like keep everything really moisturized, really, really soothed, comforted, keep my moisture barrier really nice and strong. And I will say, um, I, I really wish I could remember who gave me this this tip, but it was a subscriber gave me this tip um, because you can actually, this is a face and body cream. And I have said many times that like, um, this is a little bit thick for my, to use as my face moisturizer, but it, it suits my body so well. The tip was to mix a small pump of this into like CeraVe or Illyune, something that the texture is a little bit more appropriate for your skin type. Um, if you just need that little extra moisture without like totally overwhelming your skin. And I have tried that a few times when my skin has been like, like I, maybe I went a little too far with tretinoin, like that type of dryness and that little irritation, just a little pump of this with a much bigger pump of, of the other moisturizer I like. And then it's, it does the perfect amount of like nourishing, comforting boost without being too thick and heavy and like clogging my pores. So I have yet another empty of Curology. And as you know, this has been a staple in my skincare routine almost consistently from 2015, I think, or 2016, and it really helped my skin when I was going through a really bad bout of clogged pores. And then around 2020, I sort of switched from like just going for the azelaic acid for clearing out my pores, and I switched over to a tretinoin routine um, for, you know, my well-aging journey. And I had been really, really happy with what the results that I had been getting um, using that for almost two years. And then, um, I actually switched over to Curology sister brand agency and they created agency to be a little bit more focused on well aging um, and a little bit more focused on that tretinoin journey especially and so I've been using the service now for a couple of months and I've been really happy with it so this might have been my last Curology empty or at least for a while um, and I'm still in the family of Curology but I've just moved over to agency for my tretinoin needs and I've really been enjoying it isn't tree hyaluronic acid watery Sun gel. Mwah. I love this stuff. I love it so much. The sunscreen is so good. Uh, I love this. Um, so this sunscreen, it's a chemical sunscreen, SPF 50 plus PA plus four. I think it's five different chemical filters that are being used in this one, but it's a nice um, light like gel cream really thin, quickly absorbed, um, really nice dry time, great reapplication, no pilling, no white cast chef's kiss, right? This isn't very water resistant, I will tell you that, but it's really nice and thin on the skin and really breathable. 
and sometimes you don't want your sunscreen to add extra heavy layers onto your skin. So this is the perfect sunscreen for that light gel texture, good protection and breathability. I have a hair care empty. This is the Lador Wonder Tear. Now I've tried a lot of the Wonder Tear line um, and this is probably my least favorite of, of the line. I will say Lador is a Korean hair care brand and if you're looking to like get into Korean hair care products, that's the brand that I would say go for. They know their stuff and I love their products. I really like the Philip Ampule from this line. Um, it's a special like use it like once a month um, kind of conditioner mask for your hair that is amazing they have a wonder balm which I've also talked about here on my channel that I feel like makes your your hair it's a conditioning product that makes your hair really strong and healthy and really manageable and soft and then they have this wonder tear which is not as thick and conditioning as the wonder balm in my opinion this is a little bit of a looser but still a conditioning um, product you can use this on your on its own or you can use this in addition to the balm and on its own this product doesn't doesn't really deliver the balm on its own delivered the balm with this was like boom awesome but I don't like to use so many hair care products so probably you won't see me use this one again but I will say Lador check out the brand if you haven't the wonder tier line check it out if you have it but maybe just not this product <laughs> Okay, I just reviewed nearly 30 empty skincare products for you guys. So I feel like we earned the title of Epic Empties. I am always curious to know if you've emptied anything recently. So let me know in the comments and like, let me know, was it worth it? Was it good, bad, in between? Let me know all your thoughts. If this video helped you out, if it was entertaining, you enjoyed it, but you have not hit subscribe yet, please do consider hitting subscribe to my channel. I release a lot of new skincare videos just like this one. So uh, consider turning on the notifications too so you never miss out when I drop the new videos throughout the week. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.